All right, here's a nice uh, probability question. It consists of a few different parts. Okay, I have a sales force. I've got 10 men, 10 women. That's the total number of people. So uh, in total, there's 20 people out of the And they have a production unit of eight people. So they have to get eight people out of those 20 to make up some kind of production unit. The question is, what's the probability that you're going to get five men and three women uh, working on that committee? Okay, so... Uh, again, on the top, uh, this is what I want, and the top bottom is the total number of ways of doing things. Let's maybe start with the bottom, because that'll be a little easier. So how many people total do they have? Yeah, 20. And from those, it doesn't matter what order I choose them in, or I select or pick them in, so it's a combination. And they say, so how many do I have to have on this committee or on this production unit? Looks like I need eight. Okay, so uh, eight. So the bottom, the 20, the 20 choose eight, that's the total number of ways that I can select eight people from 20 where order doesn't matter. Okay, now the top is a little bit harder because I have to get men and I have to get and I have to get women. Typically when I see the word and, I'm thinking multiply. So all I have to do is figure out how many different ways I can get the men and how many different ways I get the women and multiply them. Okay, so to get the men, how many total men are there? There's 10. And how many of them are want, am I wanting to choose or select? Five of them. So it'd be 10 choose five. That's how, that's how many ways I could get five men from the 10 that there are. And then to get the women, there's 10 women. And from them, I'm choosing three. Okay, so this would be men, this would be total number of women. To figure out how many, how many ways you can get men and women together, this would be a multiply. Okay, all over 20, choose 8. So on your calculator, I would do something like this. I would go um, uh, 20 and then do your NCR button and 5 uh, times... Oh, not 20, sorry. Ah, erase that, not 20. There's 10. So I do uh, 10 NCR button 5 times 10 NCR button uh, 3, uh, bracket, and then divide, uh, and on the bottom, 20 choose 8, or the NCR, NCR button 8. All right, hopefully that helps. Now, when you get the answer to this, it says type an integer or a fraction. So you make you might get a number. I'm, I'm not saying this is the right number, but you might get a number like this. You might get, say, 1,500 over 2,000. This isn't the right answer, uh, but you might get a number like that. So when you do this part on your calculator, it's going to give you a decimal number, decimal something or other, and they want that into a fraction. So... I don't think that they'll allow the decimal to go typed in your answer there. They'll want a fraction. So what you do is you take the, uh, do this first top, first part first, 10 choose 5 times 10 choose 3, and come up with a number for that. It's not 1,500, but you'd put that number on the top. And then figure out this number and put that number on the bottom. And then simplify. Easy way to simplify is if both numbers are even, uh, just divide everything by 2. So I'll divide both so top and bottom by 2. So th in this case, it gives me 750 over uh, 1,000. And then if you, if you can, divide by 2 again. So that would be 375 over, divide by 2, that would be 500. Um, I can't divide by 2 anymore, but I could probably divide by 5. So if I divide top and bottom, let me just erase this while I keep going there. Uh, divide top by 5, bottom by 5. So the top by 5 would be 75 over, the bottom by 5 would be 100. And then uh, you could divide by 5 again. Uh, if you can see a bigger number that will divide even, have, a, have a, that. Like here, I think I can divide 25 into both. So 25 into 75 is 3, 25 into 100 is 4. 
So some calculators are able to take this number and simplify it directly to that. Not too many though. But sometimes you could, like if you get to that point there, maybe your calculator will be able to simplify it. At any rate, at the end, they want a fraction. Hopefully that helps you with that question.